Under this shroud is something new from Toyota, the second generation Mirai fuel cell vehicle. Uh, don't be too concerned if you haven't heard of it before. In the US, they're only sold in California because it's the only state with a refueling infrastructure. Before we check out the new one, here's a first gen that Toyota had on hand at the Evolution event in Greensboro, North Carolina. This is my first time driving a fuel cell vehicle. Uh, anything special I need to know? <laughs> well, probably this is not. A great treat. <laughs> I'm assuming it starts like any other car. It will. Yep. In the electric car segment, the company is taking the long game by investing in hydrogen fuel cells for many reasons, a few of them being the high price of batteries, fueling speed, and the problem of disposing of the cells once the car reaches the end of its life cycle. The Mirai certainly looks different, like a vehicle from the Blade Runner sequel, but it drives much like any electric car. So one of the problems that you folks are going to be facing is educating the public. I know people that won't buy a plug-in hybrid because they think that it's going to run out of range at 50 miles. Mm -hmm. How do you educate people with a hydrogen powered car? Yeah, one thing we, we've got to tell them is that this car will, the experience will be very similar to the gasoline uh, vehicle that they've known for their whole lives. So you go to a fueling station, it happens to be a hydrogen fueling station, you plug in the nozzle, you fuel up in five minutes, and then you're on your way again for 300 miles. So it's gonna be analogous to what they're experiencing now, except instead of putting gasoline in their tanks, they're putting hydrogen in their tanks. Yeah. So the Mirai, uh, it's punchy, yeah. it's quiet, just like a battery electric vehicle would be. Uh, What's, what's the word from people that own them right now? Love. They love the car. They're very happy with the car experience. Um, they think, you know, again, like as you mentioned, it's, it's quiet. Uh, it gives the range that they're looking for. A lot of people that are, are in sales or other occupations that take them on the road on a daily basis, um, they say it's a pleasure to drive. Uh, they like the quick refueling option, you know, where they can just, you know, find a station um, and fuel it up and they're on their way again. So that's really the main uh, benefit and then that they're not polluting. This vehicle is zero emission at, at all. It's great for the environment. The only thing that comes out of the tailpipe is, is water. One difference here, the fuel cell compressor makes a slight whooshing sound as the hydrogen enters the fuel cell stack. So for people who don't know the actual mechanics of this car, obviously uh, there's a hydrogen tank mm -hmm. that's very well armored. Um, mm -hmm. There's a fuel cell, but there's also a battery pack, right? Yeah. So this vehicle at its core utilizes the Toyota hybrid system. So the hybrid components uh, include a battery pack, small battery pack, which is sourced from the Camry, uh, Camry hybrid. Uh, that's in the back. The motor is actually sourced from an R Lexus RX hybrid. That's in the front, in the front-wheel drive vehicle. And the power control unit, or the ECU, the brains of the uh, vehicle itself, um, is from a Prius. So it's got three shared components with different uh, vehicles from Toyota's hybrid lineup. Um, and then that's coupled with, instead of a gasoline engine from a hybrid application, it's coupled with a fuel cell stack to create the electrical power for the vehicle. It's the, the, the source of the, of the power. And nothing from the tailpipe but water. Correct, correct. Just water is trickling from the tailpipe. Buy or lease a Mirai and three years or $15,000 worth of hydrogen is included. There aren't many stations in California, but refueling is much less time consuming than charging a battery equipped EV. You know, if you hadn't planned ahead or forgot to charge or anything else with this vehicle, you go to your station, you're in and out in five minutes, just like your gasoline experience. All right, back to the second generation. This one looks a lot less like a science experiment and more like a regular car. Longer, lower, and wider, it ditches front-wheel drive. It's driven by the back tires. Toyota claims it will be much more engaging to drive than today's version, and it will seat five. The current, uh, no pun intended, version is a four-seat vehicle, and the claimed range improves by 30%. 
The windows are blacked out, so I can't get shots of the interior. This one may not even have one, but monitors all around the space showed an elegant cabin. It should be stylish, maybe even close to Lexus grade. So what else is Toyota telling us about the next generation Mirai? <laughs> not much, yet. How you felt today, you're gonna have even a uh, more exciting driving feel. Okay. Um, and uh, new packaging, so we're excited. So if you want a second generation Mirai, two things. You'll have to wait till late 2020 when they become available, and you'll have to live in an area where they have hydrogen refueling stations, which right now is only in California. That's my first look at a car that many of you will never see in person. From Greensboro, North Carolina, I'm Tom Volk.